Hello guys, Haunt Nation here, and today I'll be showing off like the 2020 props I've purchased, and then like, well like one of them, or two of them, are just some of my favorites I have. So here they are. The f there's, yes I got this idea from um, that fish guy, so thank you for this idea. I'm not going to be reviewing them though, I'm just going to talk about them a little bit, like I said, not a review. But I'll just give you a quick rundown of them. And the ones that are not outside that are from 2020 are the Harvester of Souls, the um, Little Lizzie and the Maestro, and Miss Mercy and Punctured Pete. I really enjoy the lineup this year, and I also got some older props this year too, which was really, really nice. But yeah, I'm going to start on this end, because why not? And then, yeah. So, this is Miserable Marie. She's a really nice one. I do like Pete more, though, but she's really cool. I like how her jaw moves and everything. You know, yeah, just simple stuff, not big reviews. The Hauntress is next. She, I got Marie in, like, the last week of September. Or, like, the second to last. And then I got Hauntress in August, along with Miss Mercy. She's really cool. But, honestly, I think if I had to return one of my props this year it would be either her or her i love them both so but if i like had to return one it'd be probably one of them next up is one that i wanted for years and i finally have him uncle charlie unpopular opinion i kind of do like the old one because i'm just like obsessed with old props and i just remember really really wanting him back then but yeah i really love uncle charlie he was the first one i purchased this year from spirit in store there is twisted tina She's one of my favorite props this year. I love Twisted Tina. She said they probably won't come back though because they put her in such an awful spot and stores know how to set her up properly. This was one of the props that I got locally. This is Twilight Twitcher. And that reminds me, there was also, I got one with him that was Gruesome Granny. She's not outside. Both of them do not turn on. So I got them for like really cheap prices. And then next, I have Hex. I'm trying to fix him. I got him in a lot of four props. And that's why I have two Molly Dollies. Because I already had a Molly Dolly. And then I got another one with Hex. And I also got Bang Bang and Brainita in that lot. So I really enjoy Hex. His head just doesn't spin, sadly. And we're going to try to figure that out. I think it's the motor. Because it's not spinning the gears. But all the gears look fine. Next up, we have Crouchy. I liked Crouchy last year, but I just didn't get him at the time. But this year he's was just he started growing me a lot and I had to have him. I love Crouchy. He's just a really cool prop. This is the reason this guy is outside and Teddy Bears. Oh. Right, the reason Duddy Bear and oh my god, okay, the reason Duddy Bear and Wolf Baby are out, along with the Dummy Baby, I decided to just bring out all my zombie babies. Oh my god, I just popped into my cat. I decided to bring out all my zombie babies, and I really started to grow my collection on them this year. I love zombie babies, and I miss when they were really good, and I wish I got more back then. I really want a thumb sucker. I love that one. But the Whoop Baby, he's a really cool one. I used to be obsessed with that one, and now I'm still really happy. I don't know why. He's really valuable. Like, I see him go for more than, like, a Bang Bang or something, which is really strange to me, but whatever. Brainita is next. She's in, like, perfect condition, except for there is a little tear in her mouth right there. I love her detail, but she is probably my least favorite zombie baby out of all the ones I own. But again, I still love her. Spider Bird or Billy is next. I'm pretty sure this is a 2019 model. And he's just really cool all around. I love Crazy Create and yeah. Oh wait, actually before I continue with the babies, I'm going to talk about Flesh Eating Zombie. I actually, this isn't his original arm. I got a new one because, well that's like old spirit, an old spirit looking arm. So I really like that. He's really cool. Just wish he was more like the original though. I wish the props this year, like Uncle Charlie, Gatekeeper, he, who's like the closest one like that fish guy said and flesh eating zombie were just like limb ripper where they're basically exactly the same like that's what people want spirit but yeah he's really cool next is the wicked witch of the west i've wanted her for years she was one of the first props i saw in store at spirit and this one i found locally and i'm very happy i did 
Next up is Bang Bang. This used to be my favorite zombie movie of all time. I wanted her for years and years and years, and I finally got her this year, which is really exciting to just own her. I could show you a demo of her. She just won't rock properly, obviously, but here she is. Oh my god. I should have known that was going to happen. And then I believe the same person designed her face as Molly Dolly's or something. I know they're different companies, but look how similar they are. And I'm pretty sure this is a 2012 and a 2011, because you can tell they're very different. Well, not very, very different, but they are different looking. The person that sold me this said they got it new at the store without a doll. And I don't believe that, but they didn't have it. Next up is Daddy Bear. He's not on, sadly, but he is really cool. He was one of the first props I really wanted at Spirit, and I'm very happy to have him. I have his original box, too, but he's sadly a 2013 model. Next up is Snack and Stevie. I actually repainted him, if you couldn't tell. And I really like him, but just the detail was very bad on him, and I decided to repaint him. Next up is, I think his name is Hung Up Hank, I believe. Yeah, Hung Up Hank. And he's real cool. I love his quality. A lot of people don't like him, but I do. Next up is Stabby. I got him along with Molly Dolly. And I really, really enjoy him. That reminds me, I also forgot I have the Grave Watcher, which I purchased this year with them. And she is very, very nice. I wanted her way back then. And back there is Freddy. I actually got him in 2017, but I decided to bring, out, bring him out because he's one of my favorite props I own of all time. I love slasher movies and stuff. And my favorite prop I own is either Cemetery Angel or Jason. I have Jason, but he, we were trying to repair him, so he's not out here. And next is the latest one I got, which is the Rising Ghost Woman. I did a review on her and a setup, so you can go check that out. So I'm not going to talk about her much, but this is my second one I got. She's from Party City, obviously, but I still really enjoy her. Next is the female zombie. She is amazing. I got her this year, and I love her. I actually managed to get two of them. They were really cheap locally, and I got one for Nathan Lozier as a gift for an early Christmas gift, so he might be making a video on that soon, hopefully. Next is Ellie Hatchet. She's very, very cool, and I don't know what else to say about her. I added blood because she kind of needed it, I think. And then next is the mommy's favorite. I love mommy's favorite. She just needed more detail, I think. And I don't know why they removed her phrases. People say it's because of abuse, but I highly doubt that. Because, like, literally they're Halloween animatronics that say they're going to rip your guts out and stuff. But I think I covered everything, guys. I'm pretty sure. So please like, comment, and subscribe. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And I'd love to see your collections that you've purchased this year. Bye, guys.